some people hate portrait of a lady and i see why because they're not a fan of the animalic scent i can almost guarantee some of you if you tried mouse curvature you're gonna hate it let me introduce some some perfumes you're gonna hate i do not throw the word hate around easily and that often but if these perfumes did not exist i mean life would be good look i dislike these perfumes okay so let me list them for you and explain why each one just just rubs me the wrong way like no first one is jean paul gaultier scandal if you've gone through my collection with me i have the scandal by night by jean paul gaultier i love that one i had to go back to the notes and see what is the major difference that makes me like one and hate the other they have similar ingredients there is honey sweet floral citrus caramel animalic patchouli beeswax floral and woody notes those are the accords in the original scandal now when you look at the by night scandal it has the same notes but they're arranged differently like the top notes middle notes are a little bit different and guess what the one ingredient that is in by night that is not in the original scandal is cherry the cherry and the tuberose in the scandal by night makes it sweet and syrupy listen the main scandal smells like just honey it's like how they starting to sell honey these days in the supermarkets listen it's not real honey what they do is they take a little fraction of honey and mix with syrup and so you're trying to put honey in your tea and it's not tasting normal and there's this bitter aftertaste that you hate it's disgusting it's sickening it's headache inducing and you feel nauseous that is what the original scandal smells like to me that's what it does to me like it's just too much honey fake synthetic honey it's just no go ahead and try the flankers of scandal by night is one of my favorites there's another tropical one that smells really juicy and nice as well go look them up but scandal original is on this list strong dislike okay moving on speaking of cherry in perfumes okay listen the cherry note can be beautiful it's sensual it's sweet the next fragrance i'm going to talk about is lost cherry by tom ford i know don't come for me do not come for me lost cherry is nice but there's some hospital vibe in there there's some synthetic note in there that's not quite rubbing me the right way look i like the scent if it was in a 20 dollar bottle then i'd buy it but six hundred dollars not mine tom ford i'm so sorry there are some perfumes that i like in the private blends by tom ford listen they're so good they're interesting they're lovely one though they don't last for very long you don't get a sillage it's more intimate and all that but look when i'm spending that money i need everybody and their cousin and their sisters to know that it's it's me who's smelling good here it's me okay because i'm not having people in my space most of the time for people to smell my perfume and appreciate it it needs to have sillage it needs to shout tom ford says don't do that for me and uh lost cherry is not an exception when i first tried it i was like pass next thing is such a big thing on youtube lost cherry lost cherry lost cherry and i know this list is not in any particular order i don't dislike one more than the other necessarily the point is i'm just listing what they are there are five in total i don't know if i actually told you that and the third one i'm gonna mention is from tom ford again it's and fabulous that one i was like what you know i tried all these perfumes before they were hyped my first impression was i'm there so i didn't get them and then everybody and their uncle and cousin and grandchild was talking about f and fabulous and i was like wait is that the same one that i tried like i can see how it could be intriguing but not for that price no no if it was in a 30 dollar bottle 
then we can talk then i'm definitely buying it you know but if you never told me it was tom ford and i just sprayed it somewhere else like i think it was just all marketing of this name effing fabulous because it was just something so oh, taboo but no no thank you gift it to me though but I won't be buying that one. I would rather like tobacco vanilla. But even for all of those Tom Ford scents, there's dupes now. There's really good dupes that have better longevity, better density strength than the... Rose Prick was pretty, but listen, they have nice scents. But for the price, for the price, we're not doing it. We are not doing it. Maybe if I'm on something. Maybe I'm having an allergic reaction to some vegetable and my mind's going crazy, then I might buy it. But just know I wasn't in a normal state when I bought those perfumes. Moving on. I know that you probably have some scents that you don't like either in your collection or that other people have talked about. Let me know in the comment section what these perfumes are because I need you to warn me, one, and two, I'm just curious how your nose works and what's not working for you. And what reason would you put it in the list? Is it the price that puts you off? Is it the quality that puts you off? Is there a specific note in there that doesn't vibe with you? Is it the packaging? Because let's be honest, some of these perfumes we're buying for packaging. Is it the packaging? Or is it that it's overhyped? Because I have been put off some scents because everybody was talking about it i'm like no i'm gonna be that one person who doesn't know anything about that perfume i've had some perfumes like that that i was like no everybody's talking about it and then there was that pleasant surprise delina that i know some people hate but i actually liked delina exclusive i've never tried the original but i like the exclusive and now own it i have joined the club i'm excited to own that no that was that was hyped hyped okay let me know let me know what perfumes you have or you know about that you just you just don't like you don't like it's a safe space so speak your mind go ahead next on this list is idol idol their marketing is on point right now okay that sleek bottle of course i will put the pictures of the perfumes up here so you can have a look for those who don't know idol is just cute it's cute it's not even up there with dior bouquet it's just nice it's okay i'd put it in the same category as this next perfume by ysl is it libre libre it smells like soap and I have smelt that perfume on someone else. And I was like, oh, that smells nice on you. And I was like, yeah. But listen, for the hype though, for the hype and what you're getting, mm -hmm, the marketing is on point for that one. They're doing great there. They're nice, clean scents, Idol and Libre. They're nice, clean scents. They're feminine and all that. But would I be like, oh, wow i must get a bottle it could be a little less but if they're they're working on that marketing to that extent they're gonna need to charge us we're paying for that marketing did you know that anyway next perfume i was just throwing an extra one for good measure because i'm generous like that now mugler angel edp when i first tried it, i was like what is this it smells like some sort of medicine but I don't know it's been a while since i tried it let me try it again one day but listen my impression of that was like no no and also alien aura but i ended up purchasing alien and now my nose has gotten used to it and i enjoy it i don't wear it as often but i like it i actually like it now it's a complicated scent mugler is very very unique in his creations nothing like what he creates is anywhere really like and when people try to replicate his perfumes it, you can never say oh this smells like something from mugler it's usually really hard to duplicate his scents there is hope yet for me to like these scents that i listed in this video what happens is when your olfactory 
starts maturing. You expose yourself to different scents and things like that. And as you age, your taste changes. I don't want to say it's a lost cause, but I'm not going to go out of my way to try and enjoy these perfumes because there's many, many other perfumes that I like that are out there that I want to own. So I'm not going to force myself to like these perfumes. Yeah, this is kind of unpopular opinion because these perfumes are loved here on YouTube. So let me know in the comment section how you feel about the ones I listed and if you have some of your own that you're just like, how could people like this? Am, am I weird? Like, is there something wrong with me? Like, how can I hate this so much and other people love it? Don't feel like you need to go with the wind and say you like a perfume too just because other people are saying they like it and start feeling you know weird or odd like the odd duck in the crew in the group just because you have an unpopular opinion about a fragrance love the skin you're in in other words own what you own own what you what you like own what you dislike like live in your truth you know what i mean am i preaching am i preaching right now i hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video give it a like if you did and subscribe if you have not already and i'll see you in my next video Bye. As I was saying goodbye to you guys, guess who I found? Just in the corner of my eye, scandal by night. We're done with the, you late to the party. You are late. <laughs>